Alright, so today we're going to be doing just a, a quick little fun build. Hopefully we'll be getting it done uh, in three hours or less. That's my goal. We're going to be gil building the RoboCat from Hobby King uh, with some multi-star elite motors, uh, some cheap King Kong uh, ESCs. We'll see how good these are. Uh, they're just 12 amp. And then with a KISS FC to see if a good flight controller can bring that all that together uh, and make it fly pretty well. Um, so that's kind of what I'm planning on doing. I'll give you guys a little update on this. I'm uh, just running into a bunch of issues with uh, too much interference in the video feed because of the 4-in-1 ESC and the way that I package things. Uh, so I'm just setting that aside for now. I'm not planning on doing too much with it. Um, but I will probably come back to that in the future if I can come up with a solution that will uh, work well enough for me. Uh, but in the meantime, let's build this thing and see what we can do with it. Alright, so unfortunately I did lose audio for these clips. I don't know what exactly happened right, there, so but update, this is kind of just, just the, the shell, the top half, of the frame, the top half to put together, started. just giving you guys uh, so a little idea of how putting it together. How that goes together. Um, there's so another space, um, uh, I noticed there's a couple pieces, just under there, um, where you put another stand off. You'll here. see when you get the kit. Uh, I chose um, not to so include that, that just because the there's no uh, point to really another, including that. The I think it's stiff enough as it is. In there, but um, I'm grabbing that stand off sure there and showing really you necessary. It uh, where it fits in there. The it is, so. But I don't think it's really necessary. Um, the shell does look pretty good. I kind of like the overall look of this drone. This drone's definitely going to be more of a looker than a performer, but. Right, so uh, here's done, the PDB. Uh, I'm just so using one that I grabbed off of Hobby King. I think up. it was like a six dollar uh, PDB. Going. I'm just soldering so I'm the ESCs the uh, to the sides there. Just simple install the uh, and then on the, the board, you can see uh, I've already tinned the pad for the five there. volt, twelve volt out for um, my set of mounting, video uh, transmitter and then the flight controller as well. Come out the back. I actually end up soldering the video transmitter to one of the positive pads just so I can get twelve volts. Or excuse me, fourteen volts directly. Probably from the battery, and then I'm showing yeah, you. I'm putting the video transmitter right here, uh, mounting it in the top and then there. Potentially running the um, to the back. Or it's important to know with this big video transmitter, I did actually have to shave uh, away because I might be able a little to bit of the top plate. I'll talk about that later. That um, but then I'm using a pigtail uh, to just where we are right now. Uh, mount that to the top. All right, I apologize. I've been terrible on that bottom plate on. Basically, it's actually on backwards right now. So What's changed I flipped that is around later finished in the video, up soldering some of the wires here. I'm just there's planning a 12 on running the wires um, right out the side. You can see right on the board there's a 12 volt um, out and then there's a 5 volt out. The 5 volt out. You can see how uh, the wires coming to out the power the front to the video um, to transmitter to get, video to get power to that. And then the power to the camera is coming from the video transmitter. That way I only have two wires going to that top half Which of the realized. shell that folds so that way uh, I won't have any problems with the wires getting the bound up or anything like that. Uh, then I just have the bolts. wires coming out so of the sides I'm gonna there have to re for that quickly. going up to the but flight controller, that I can just and I'm just going to loop those up the side. You could do a cleaner uh, build and, and have it once come I up. Once I re um, that, I'm going to put this plate back on. I just the wires out these little but side plates here. I was just trying to do this in a relatively short amount of time. I did the same on the other side. Not having too much of a hassle, so I just went with bringing it right up the side and soldering it to the flight controller. And then I'm just talking about how I'm going to solder up the motors to the ESCs at the end. Uh, and eventually check the battery will sit like that. Uh, in here, big Velcro strap. Alright, so I've soldered in the, the power. So this was just the 12 volt out on the ground, out of the board. Just brought that up the side and into the VN plus and minus right here on the KISS. And then I've just tinned the pads for where the X4R is going to solder up and then where all of my motors are going to go. And then I'm just going to pretty much start soldering all those up. I have all these connections. Um, and then I have uh, my X4R as well that I'm going to take and, and use to then solder some wires to that. And other than that, uh, it seems to be going relatively smoothly. Uh, another note, I had to carve some of the... There was a small piece sticking out here, so I just carved that off and sanded it away. That way, this can fold all the way flush. When I fold it over, but the kiss is going on top here on some standoffs, uh, just some short ones. That way, there's a little bit of gap under here, um, and that's pretty much it. Then I'll, after I get that all mounted up and everything, then I'm going to solder on uh, one of the motors, figure out the direction that that goes, and then solder the rest of the motors. All right, update video. Never expect a build to be under three hours, especially when you've never built the frame before. 
and you're just putting electronics uh, willy-nilly where you want. <laughs> so, still haven't mounted <laughs> or soldered any of the motors yet, but flight controller, uh, KISS flight controller is all soldered up except for the X4R. That's the next thing I'm going to do. I just got to find a servo wire plug to be able to solder that. Um, camera and everything are still up there. Those are fine. Going to figure out a little mount to support that underneath there. That way it stays at the same tilt. Um, just put two bolts on there just to test fit, but it does close all the way. So that kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. Right now my camera likes to flop down, but I'm going to put a little mount underneath it or a little small bracket that fits in there to support it. Um, this isn't going to be a super fast quad. It's going to be more of one that just looks really cool. And it's hopefully just uh, really rock solid because of the KISS flight controller, but um, yeah, that's pretty much where it is right now. The next thing I'm going to do is probably mount the, the X4R right behind it and then just throw a little solder over the back uh, and then run my antennas uh, just down out the bottom there. Um, but yeah, keep moving forward. Okay, quick update. I uh, just put the receiver on. I just put a plug in there and then just soldered these three to the KISS. Um, this is where a piece is supposed to mount um, such that you can make this clip in. Um, but since I'm not planning on opening it very much, um, since it's the KISS and I shouldn't need to change settings very often, uh, I'm just going to put a little one of these guys, a little twist tie uh, around the back here. That way it will just keep it down in flight if it ever wants to lift up. But I really don't think that's going to be much of an issue. But yeah, next step, uh, solder the first motor on, then hook everything up, make sure it's good to go, check the motor direction, and then go and do the rest of the motors. Alright, so a little update. Um, just finished soldering all the motors on. Um, if you want them to spin clockwise, just solder them uh, normally. So left, left, middle, middle, right, right. Uh, unfortunately, these ESCs are supposed to have one shot 125 um, without changing any of the programming or settings. Uh, I went into the KISS firmware or into the, the GUI, had one shot 125 selected, could not get these ESCs to work. Uh, and then I just went to uh, disable that, just went to PWM output, uh, and now all the ESCs work. So, not really sure exactly what's going on there. Uh, a little disappointed about that. Uh, so I know this thing isn't going to be the best it can be, but uh, I have all the motors running up. They're all spinning up now. This is kind of what it looks like at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to have to figure out how I'm going to Velcro a battery in the middle here. Uh, and then I'm going to just put some of these foam pads that it comes with um, underneath for landing gear. And then I'll, I'll wait for you guys and let you know how that goes. Alright, so I put the prop adapters on, threw some props on here. These are just Lumineer 5x4x3s. Uh, and then just threw a battery in there. I don't have a Velcro, and eventually I'm just going to throw a Velcro or strap around there. Um, but I'm just going to try to see if it'll at least just um, do a little mini hover here. I uh, still need to make a little bracket to hold the camera up there. Oh, nope, it's staying alright. <laughs> so I just need to make a little spacer basically that'll just sit under there so that way the camera stays up. Um, but yeah, and then I put the feet on as well, so they're sitting there nicely. Um, yeah, but other than that, and I put the zip tie just that way the top stays down. But yeah, so here it is. Uh, let me just grab the scale quickly, and then we'll see how much it weighs here. This is with a battery. So 560 with a battery, and I'll take the battery out just so we can get an idea of what it is without the battery. And without the battery, it's 401, so not too heavy, but also not too light, and it's got uh, smaller motors. It doesn't have 2206s on it, so it's not not too bad. All right, so here we go. First little mini hover in here.
have a, a little bit of oscillations there, so it's going to need a little bit of tuning. Uh, we'll see how that ends up going, but yeah, overall pretty satisfied with the build. With the build, and I'll get some DVR footage and some outdoor footage for you guys shortly. All right, so the only thing I did was I, I had the filtering on medium before. I just turned it back up to high. Um, we'll see if it makes a difference on the oscillations. It's not too big of a difference, so it might just be a, a little bit of a tuning issue. Um, I haven't checked the vibrations in the motors to see how bad those are yet, um, so that's something. But, yeah, I don't know how much this being loose is playing a factor, but I'm sure it's not insignificant. <laughs> so I'm going to make a way to basically just have this snap down so that way it stays sturdy. Um, but overall, I'm happy it's flying. Uh, it's much better than my spider bite, which has just been giving me problems left and right, and that's why I built this thing, so I could kind of forget that for a little while and uh, work on something that I knew would work. So uh, I think a big part of that is just the KISS FC. Uh, <laughs> I love the philosophy of KISS. So really happy that this uh, flight controller is working out so easily, uh, so quickly. So yeah, I look forward to watching... Uh, the next videos, I'll be getting this out flying shortly, and I'll get you guys some DVR footage, and maybe I'll do a little bit of a, a tuning tutorial if I have time, but other than that, there's a lot of good tutorials out on there uh, from various different pros that you guys can go watch.